Hey, this is Lou again. I wanted to share something with you. A few changes here. Someone pointed out to me that Yahusha's name was below the name Staples. Well, Staples is a nice copy shop. That's where I recommend people to go in the United States to get copies of all these articles. Yeah. What? They, um, I have my preferences for making cards and copies and things. All these copies that you can get made, you can also download them and print them yourself. But that gets expensive. But you can just email these over to the nearest Staples copy shop and make as many as you want. It just, there's an endless supply here. If you just, uh, I, I get them all the time. I get like anywhere between 100 and 300 at a time. And uh, let's see what else is new. I've got my, my friendly octopus over here. Don't be afraid. It's just a toy. I like turtles, too. I don't touch them. I just look at them. There's the Nazarim or saying the words that Yahushua said we would. We wouldn't see him again until we said, Baruch Haba Bashem Yahuwah. There's his name. And this is a symbol of a menorah. They call it a candlestick. Anyway, it burned uh, oil, lamp oil. There were seven lamps. And I painted the horns on my Viking helmet. What do you think? Isn't that, isn't that nice? Well, let's see. What else is new in here? Hmm. Well, I just wanted to make this a real quick one because I'm calling it the sign. Forever. I'm going to read from, uh, let's see, BYNV. Number one. And I'm going to start with Ezekiel chapter 20. They call him Yekeskel for real. Let's see what this says. It says, among other things, I'm going to start picking up on chapter 20, verse 12. This is Yahuwah speaking to us and them. All of us with that covenant sign. Quote, and I also gave them my Shabbatuth to be a sign between them and me to know that I am Yahuwah who sets them apart. Unquote. Shabbatuth, that's uh, what's actually written in the Hebrew, and people aren't pronouncing it, they pronounce it Sabbath. But the Shabbatuth is plural. It's Sabbaths. It means what it means. And if you don't speak Hebrew, you can learn it. A lot of people say, well, we don't really use that name, like, you know, Yahuwah, because we don't speak Hebrew. Well, you don't speak Hindi either, but you can say yoga. And you know a lot of other words in other languages. Why can't you figure out what the name of the creator is that he says is his name. Yashiyahu or Isaiah says in chapter 42 verse 8, I am Yahuwah. That is my name. He doesn't have three names, four names, a hundred names. He's Yahuwah. Anyway, what's, what's the sign? Well, the sign between Yahuwah and his people, according to his word, is the Shabbatuth. He gave them he gave us his Sabbath. It's a sign forever between him and us and him forever. That's the sign. And it's an interesting thing, too, about the last days. Probably, uh, since all the people are out there running around going, uh, the sky is falling, there's missiles falling on military bases. Uh, yeah, this is a sign, too, because Yahusha. In Matit Yehu chapter 24, he said that, well, his disciples came to him, his first Nazarene came to him and said, what is the sign of your coming? And you're restoring the reign to Yisrael, you know. And when are you going to take over? Well, he went into great length and gave details, but not specifically enough to really say that 
we can predict it, but we're watching. See, we're watchmen. And that's another meaning of the word Nazarene. Nazarene are watchmen. That's kind of like why I put the eyeball at the head of this video. And the menorah, that's a sign too. It's a big sign. He took the menorah away, according to Revelation. You know, he's, he took it away, but he's going to restore it, of course. And, oh, and I've got this rock. Look at it. It's a stone with a name written on it. And no one knows what that name is except he who receives it. At Matthew 24, verse 20, it says, one of the signs of his coming would be a, a, a sign of a great distress of nations. The whole world will be under stress because of the tribulation that's coming. And it is here pretty much starting up. It's ramping up every day. It's getting worse like birth pains. And missiles are flying and nations are rising up against nations. And that means races. And kingdoms against kingdoms. And that's governments. They're reigning terror upon one another and they're trying to get even and Yahushua said these are these are signs of his coming so it, it's imminent and it can happen anytime he wants and one of the things he said was pray that your flight not be in winter or on a Shabbat that's a sign of his coming that we'd be flying well what in the world is he doing talking about the Shabbat what Shabbat? Is that the seventh day of every week? Absolutely. It's the same word. He uses it throughout Scripture. And uh, remember, if you can't say his name, practice it. You know, listen to somebody that um, actually knows it's four vowels. If they don't know it's four vowels, then they're probably mispronouncing it. But it is four vowels. It's Yahuwah. There's no consonants in the word so I just wanted to pop in real quick and make a quick video and I'm going to put a little information at the end of the video too so thank you for subscribing to this channel and we are putting up some videos as time allows thanks for visiting with us talk to you later bye this is the way walking it